good morning, you guys. Saturday, I've been so lazy this morning. And I just went and washed my face and brushed my teeth and put these little eye patchy things on. I am obsessed with these. I bought like a, a bunch of them from Sephora a few months ago and I'm just like religiously using them. And I don't really know if they make a difference, but they feel really good and are very satisfying to wear. Figured I would start vlogging this weekend. We are going to head to Holland to my parents' house and see my older sister and her husband and my parents. And I'm really excited to be there. We're just going from like Saturday to Sunday. Um, coming back like honestly Sunday morning afternoon so I'm excited to go see them uh, I need to finish packing this morning and getting ready and yeah it'll just be a nice little quick weekend getaway to see my parents I haven't been to my parents house since like Christmas so I'm excited to go and see them and yeah I'm gonna go keep getting ready Sweetie girl, that's not helpful. I just made the bed. But you look awfully pretty, so I think I'm gonna leave you. Probably make it back um, or make it there while divorce is still open. <laughs> is that what you think now? To go shopping? Well, we can do both. I feel like, I mean, if we go to divorce, we can still go downtown and go shopping, or if we go to my house and then I eat there and then you want to eat something at City Deli and then we can go downtown and go shopping. I mostly just want to go to Spring Sweet and look for like jewelry. Is that okay? You can, we can decide as we get closer. <laughs> We're not going to Bulwark's for dinner. We're not? No. I mean, maybe. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. I tried to like put it half back. Kind of at the stage with my hair where I feel like I need to do something with it and I just don't really like the way it looks when it's just like straight down. Like I've been curling in the ends a lot. I like the way that looks. I like the way it looks when it's curled. But I don't know if this is working for me. I'm just trying to actually like do stuff to it. But we are almost ready to go. We're gonna leave in the next few minutes here, hopefully. I'm bringing like literally like zero clothes because I figure I'm gonna be there for like 24 hours, so there's really no reason to. Ooh, was my package delivered? No way. Oh no. <laughs> I do you guys if anyone doesn't use the shop app and you online shop as much as I do, you need to download the shop app because it is so helpful for keeping all of like keeping track of packages and like easily tracking them all in one space without having to search through your email and look for all the sh shipping emails and everything. It like automatically updates. And I thought it was telling me that my package is out for delivery this morning. It was already delivered, but it's just I have a new package that shipped, which is exciting too because those are potential wedding shoes. So I'm very excited that shipped. But the other one that's coming today, I hate that when I'm like leaving when I know a package is coming because I love <laughs> getting mail and opening my packages. But um, that's like a dress for potential engagement pictures. I have like four options at this point that once the final ones arrive, I need to show you guys. Maybe that'll be the end of this vlog. Hopefully they'll be here. I think the one's supposed to not come till like Monday, but maybe I can get it into this video so that you guys can give me opinions on what I should wear for some pictures we're taking. I have two of the options already in my closet, but two more coming and I've already returned like three. So it's been, a journey getting outfits but anyways 
Alec is gonna get mad because I'm taking forever to get ready. So, also with ordering wedding shoes, that might seem a little psycho because yes, my wedding is still over a year away. But in order to actually order my dress, it's like custom made for me, and so it needs I need to have the exact heel height, um, so that hopefully it comes in like the perfect length, that they don't have to like take off any dress. If that makes sense. So that's why I'm like on the hunt already for wedding shoes. Family photo in the mirror. We got my girlie. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's like not having this. <laughs> you want to do a trick? Bye. You want him to do a trick? Yeah, give them treats. He's been doing so good. He thinks it's like high five all the time. Rexy, that's not the point of high five. It's not a grab. High five is you hit my hand. High five. Good boy. Good job being cute. Good job. Here, Rexy. Ready for your hoop trick? <laughs> Itch first. Good job. I'm gonna miss you two nuggets. Did you give her two or okay, yeah, she gets them. I try and get them the same amount. Love you guys. I've had these blue light glasses. They're from like Felix Gray, I think for probably like two years at this point and just never really wore them. But anyways, I've been obsessed with wearing my blue light glasses every time I look at my phone because I am convinced they actually help so much with not getting headaches when looking at my phone. But we are in Holland now. We're gonna go and get a quick little breakfast lunch at like, <clears throat> okay, sorry. We're gonna go quick get a little breakfast lunch, I guess it's like almost one at our favorite restaurant in Holland or breakfast place in Holland that closes at like two. So we just made it to go and get some food before we go to my parents' house. Oh my God, this looks so good. Add to Boar's, I asked for a balsamic drizzle on this and it's an amazing move, it looks good. And they have gluten-free toast. Yum. tour of Holland. Of course, we haven't been here since it opened, but it's super cute. I used to actually work at this restaurant. It used to be a restaurant. This is only like a cafe area. It goes like way back. Like there's so much more to it. But it's kind of weird. They like shut it down and completely transformed it. And it's way cuter now. Literally, my feet are so cold. Just put my slippers on with my socks. But my mom has literally turned like all of the bedrooms in this house into like little guest rooms. It did not look like this last time I was here. But this was Megan's room. This is where Alec and I are sleeping. And then Trenton's room over here pretty much still looks the same. I've actually never had my own room here. Well, I did a little bit. My room was upstairs when I lived here for a summer, but my parents moved into this house. Was it like, can you turn that down? I think I, my parents moved into this house like December of my senior year, right before COVID started. And I lived here for a summer, but otherwise I didn't like, this is not the house I grew up in. So it always, feels like we're sleeping in a different bedroom or I don't know but she made it cute it's very um she's very into like fluffy stuff <laughs> like fluffy pillows and blankets I feel like that's just like a mom thing but anyways um Jade and Ben are coming over in a little bit and I think we're gonna have like a wine and game night um I think they're coming at like six and it's like five right now we've just been hanging out we went downtown and we've been talking to my parents and just catching up on everything yeah, it's so cold down here. So that's all. Just wanted to update. Got a <laughs> she did cupcake lighthearted. It literally looks like water. I did. Mom, this looks like water. Does it taste like water? No, I haven't tasted it yet. Sorry. <laughs> Too 
Cheers. I think it's good. It tastes like juice. It's Sweetie boy, I'm gonna miss you. Oh, thank you. She wants to go on a walk or go outside and play. She threw a ball at me, but we gotta go. We gotta go, honey. I'm gonna miss you though. Good morning. Oh my god, this looks so good. It's a gluten free everything bagel with avocado, egg, and like microgreens. It looks kind of like just like lettuce, but we're at Tara. They gave Alex the wrong bagel though. We did like an order ahead, so he's gonna go see if he can get the right bagel. But. Hello you guys. I haven't vlogged in a few days now. It is Tuesday and I think I last vlogged when we were coming home on Sunday, but I honestly like Monday was just a blur. I was just like getting stuff done. So finally today I'm like, I need to pick the camera back up. I just finished getting my nails done. I'll show them to you guys. They are just like a super neutral light pink, nice and back to my long nails. It's like really overexposed, I don't know why. But yeah, super neutral, super cute. Um, I'm actually leaving on a trip in like a week. So I wanted to, I knew I was gonna like have these nails Maybe this will help. There we go. That's a little better. Anyways, okay, so I knew I was going to have my nails for this trip I'm going on in a week. And whenever I'm traveling, I like to have, like, neutral nails for some reason. I don't know. But anyways, there's an old lady in the car next to me. And I'm just hoping she can't really see me because my windows are pretty tinted. But I'm just talking to myself. Anyways, I just parked at Whole Foods. I'm going to run in and get some salmon and vegetables to make for dinner tonight. Alec has been like begging me to make salmon and I, one of my goals for 2022 was to become a better cook and learn how to cook, but that requires actually getting the food and trying to cook. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have seen so many TikTok recipes of salmon that looks so good. Unfortunately, I wish I was a better cook for him because I know that he would appreciate it, but it's hard when I don't eat meat, but I do eat seafood, so. I need to learn how to cook seafood and I know making salmon like is not that hard. I am so proud of myself. This is making me determined to become a better cook. These actually look so good. We just did mini potatoes and Brussels sprouts. And then the salmon, you can see I cut into it multiple times trying to see if it was done and test it, but we like it a little bit more well done. So I kept having to put it back in compared to like what the recipe I was following used. So yeah, okay, like all my dishes are in the dishwasher. So <laughs> underneath the normal dishes I have like in these old green plates. So we are eating on green plates tonight, which kind of ruins the um, look of the food, but still delicious. This little girly, the second I get in bed or show signs of like going to bed, I'm not even going to bed right now. I don't ever normally do stuff in bed, but for some reason it just sounded really comfy, but she just hops up here. She loves getting under the covers with me. I have just like this very extensive to-do list of things that I just keep writing down when I think of them that I need to just knock out and get done. And... So I decided to just sit down and like go through because a lot of them are just like I need to like submit forms for my doctor's appointment. I need to like just a bunch of random quick things that all take like 10 minutes but are just you just have to do them. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm literally so full from dinner um, but we're just going to cuddle and get stuff done. I just thought of something I wanted to show you guys. I got... A bunch of new earrings this week and these are just like the little boxes they came in they're so cute and pink um it's this brand on amazon it's kind of like pavoy pavois <laughs> i don't know exactly how to say it i will link it but i have been obsessed with their earrings for a while i like they are the earrings i wear all the time they are super 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 affordable um right now i have in two new ones it is this little, if it'll focus, this one's a diamond and this one, come on, is a little freshwater pearl. 
super cute um those are just super simple but i got two other pairs actually two so these are the new ones i also just got they're just these little huggy gold hoops and i don't know i feel like you could end up really overpaying for this type of thing like they're literally like ten dollars and actually last a long time stay on really well so i'm happy i got a new pair and these are my favorite i am so obsessed with these i think they're so cute and they look so much more expensive than they were again i think they were like between 10 and 15 dollars there we go but they are just these little like pearl hoops and they're the perfect size they're not a huggy they're a little bit bigger but they are such good quality and so cute I don't know I need to figure out how I want to I'd probably do like this in my first piercing and then just like the plain gold hoop in the second one I haven't worn them yet but I'm really excited to wear them and if you guys have not seen this store before you should definitely check it out I probably will end up ordering more from there I've only ever tried earrings they do have like rings and bracelets and you know everything um but I really like the earrings and I do have somewhat sensitive of ears and they have never bothered me so go check that out i definitely recommend <laughs> back in the kitchen i have been trying to eat lunch lately <laughs> I just made a little salad and a piece of avocado toast with some like balsamic glaze on it, which looks delicious. I've had a bad habit of just like skipping lunch and then ending up eating like chips or unhealthy snacks because I haven't had lunch and I'm starving. So I'm trying to like incorporate healthy lunches and get in a better like routine. Cause like right now it's 2.30, which is kind of a late lunch, but it's just like when I finally got time to like make something, but going to eat this you guys look at what just came in the mail i'm going to unbox them and try them on i'm just praying 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 that they fit these are potential wedding shoes i'm so excited Lots of paper in here. Okay. You guys, they're so pretty. They're like this ivory satin. Okay, hold on. Let me set the camera down. Oh my god, you guys. They are stunning. They're so pretty. I'm freaking out. I hope they fit. I heard these fit kind of strange, so I like super sized up like an entire size. I'm usually like an eight and a half, and I literally bought a nine and a half. Um, okay, let's try them on. Okay, you guys, I don't know what to think. I'm like torn. They are the perfect length here. So I guess it's good that I sized up. But like this feels really big on me for some reason. Like this doesn't even touch my foot at all. So, and then it's like wide on the sides. So it does not feel, and this even feels big like in the toe box. Also, is it just me or is this like a lot of toe showing? Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Like, I feel like from the front, from the front here, they look absolutely perfect. But I feel like from on top, they just look kind of big. They're not falling off, but I also don't feel like they're like on super well. Oh, this is hard. Cause I know I'm always, I'm always one that's like, it's good enough, I wanna keep it, but like, let's be honest, I need to be practical if I'm wearing them for my entire wedding day and I just don't feel like I could like actually dance in these. They'd maybe be fine for like just walking around 
Urgh, I'm so sad. Why is it like this? Like, do you think I could get this? No, I'm not gonna mess with that. If I could have this like tightened, I feel like it would be so much better. But it just feels a little too loose up here. That's like really loose. Like what's the point of that if it's not even touching my foot at all? But these are like exactly what I want. Like I love like an ivory satin or like an off-white or maybe even like champagne or gold. I love a like stiletto heel. I do not want a block heel. I mean, who knows, maybe I'll end up with a block heel, but I just feel like block heels are not as like feminine looking and my wedding's all inside anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I get it for like people having their weddings outside, you probably want a block heel, but they are incredibly comfortable though. So that's where I'm like torn is that like, they're really freaking comfy. <sighs> you guys, this is so sad. Oh God. maybe I'll go into Bloomingdale's and see what they have. That's where I ordered them from. Maybe I'll see what they have in stock, but okay. This was super random, but <laughs> I just got them in the mail and I was like, I haven't exported any of the footage yet from this vlog. I'll just include these in the vlog. So let me know what you guys think of them. They should probably just go back. I need to be practical, but I need to get this footage all uploaded to my computer so I can post this video this week. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.